Okay, I am now getting my equipment set up here, my screen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, 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 sorry. <coughs> okay, I think we are good to go. All right. Hello, everyone. It's me. It's Mark. And I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yay, 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 yay. I have to ask you, if you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is A-OK. -okay. One more time, if you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is A-OK. -okay. All right, Lolly has a big <laughs> yes. Rita's here. Hello, Rita, Marion, Devender's here. OK, good morning, Devender. Sewu, thank you. Marion, thank you. Tetsuro, thank you. Tomas, thank you. All right, all right. The green team is in the house. Yay, the green team is here. Helga's here too. Thank you, Helga. All right, Teach KKK is here. Laura is here. All right, Samuel is here. Uh, Risky is here. Yay. Okay, um, Rare is here, Helga is here, Alexander is here, nice, nice, Suna is here, all right, Alice is here, Air Lady, Mwah. Air Lady is here, all right, all right. Well, it's really good to see everyone, I'm really happy you are here, I'm happy that you are here spending your time, thank you for spending your valuable time here with me. I really, really appreciate it. Yes, I do. All right. Well, Helga, how you doing, Helga? Okay. Well, we always have a toast for good luck. So let's do that, everyone. Right off from the beginning, we have to have our toast for good luck. Let's do that. So please pick up your beverage. Mine is coffee, of course. Of course, of course. I also have water too. So I drink both. Um, coffee and water. Hey, Radu. Okay, good. <clears throat> Let's have a toast to the green team. Yes, they are the people in green. You see their names in green. They are the supporters of the channel. They help me. They help you by helping me and you <laughs> and the channel. They're helping all of us. So um, let's give the green team a big thank you. Thank you, green team. Cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump. Cheers. Bump. Cheers. Okay. Because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Yes, we do. Salute. Mm. Ah, good coffee. Good coffee. Okay. Let's do our second toast. Our second toast is for you. Yes, you. You are here. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. No, no, no. Without you, there is no reason for me to be here. So thank you so much. So let's have a toast to you. Let's have a toast to a fun, interesting, productive, and informative lesson today. Cheers. Bump. Cheers. Okay, good, good. Hey, Vera. Vera. Cheers, Vera. Mm. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Okay, everyone. Yay. Well, let me tell you about today's lesson plan yes here's today's lesson plan right here on this sheet of paper we are going to do a review activity what is it all right that's a review activity then we're going to do which is better you're going to choose which one is better and tell me why then we're going to do finish the sentence i'm going to give you part of a sentence and then you finish it yeah i'm going to give you a pattern and then you finish it. Then after that, we're going to do dictation cards. You know what those are, right? You're going to listen and write down what I say word for word. Then we will do Lolly's Revenge. Yes, Lolly's Revenge is a conversation between two people, Joe and Sue, Joe and Sue. So we are busy. We have lots of things to do today. Yes, we do. So let's get right to it, shall we? Yes. You know what we say, we got to keep the ball rolling we got to keep the train moving and we got to stay the course. <laughs> okay, what is it? What is it? What is it? <clears throat> what 
is it? Yes. And then the answer, of course, is it's a. Uh. Now for uncountable, right? So a uh, would be, we use that for um, counting things, right? Like it's a book. Or no, that's for singular countables. Singular countables. It's a book. Um, if it's plural, we'd say they are books, right? So we could count books. One book, two books, three books, four books. If it's uncountable, meaning that it's too difficult to count, right? It's, it's, um, it would take too long. It would be too difficult, right? Then we just don't use the ah. Uh, we just say it's. So for example, um, it's coffee. We can't count coffee, right? We can count the cups, but we can't count the coffee itself. Um, sugar, right? Sugar, you know, little grains. We, that's take too long to count, right? So we just drop the, the definite article, the uh or the, the. We just drop it and just say it's sugar, right? So for uncountable, we just go it's. Okay, yes, all right. So let's do it. So we have four cards. One, two, three, and four, yeah? <clears throat> and I have to get some magnets over here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. <clears throat> now, these cards we did on Wednesday. Yeah, on Wednesday. And so today, I'm going to give... So on Wednesday, I showed you the card. You saw the picture, and then you had to tell me what it was by looking at the picture, yeah? For review, I'm going to give you clues, okay? So you're not going to see the picture. I'm going to explain to you what it is. So you're going to have to listen to me. You're going to have to listen to my explanation. And then you guess what the card is. Okay, here we go. We got four cards right here. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> so I'm going to explain. I'm going to um, talk about the things, and then you tell me what it is. Okay, so here we go. Number one, number one. Um, this is a bird. Um, it flies in the air, of course, right? Birds fly in the air. Um, it's, a, it's a big bird, yeah. And we call these like a, a bird of prey because they attack, they eat meat. Yeah, these, these birds eat meat. And actually, these birds are um, America's symbol. So if you, if you see America and it'll say USA, you'll see this bird on the USA seal, right? So um, it's a symbol of, our, of America. It's a bird of prey. It's a very beautiful bird and very large bird. And it attacks small animals yeah okay yeah you guys got it very very good okay yep so the answer is what is it and you guys have the answer you said it's an eagle yes it's an eagle good job oh, oh i forgot so this eagle starts with the e it's a vowel so we change the sound to n Okay, so because, because it starts with a vowel, the sound is different. So we use N. It's an eagle. Okay, good, good. So it's an eagle. Very good, very good. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. Here we go. Number two, everyone. Number two. Oh, Sewu is in the house. Did I say hello to Sewu before? Sewu is here. Oh, Peter's here. Hi, Peter. How you doing? Okay, good, good. Oh, Tetsuro's here. Hello, Tetsuro. How you doing? Oh, Monk is here. Hi, Monk. How am I? Monk. Hi, Monk. <laughs> okay, here we go. Card number two, right here. Card number two. And the clues are, or I'm going to talk, not clues so much. I'm going to talk about it. It's, it's a drink. It's healthy. It helps your bones grow strong, yeah. Um, may, children drink it a lot, right? Children like it. I like it. Um, maybe as we get older, 
we don't drink it so pe adults don't drink it so much you know kids drink it at school every day i drink it every day not so much like a whole glass but um a few a few drink a few sips i put it on my cereal i put it on my oatmeal um it's white it comes from cows <laughs> um Let's see, it's um, healthy because there's no sugar um, and it's, it's filled with minerals and vitamins. Actually, the, the main um, mineral is calcium and that helps our bones. Yes, you guys got it. What is it? What is it? And you have it. No, Rita. No, no, no. Rita, this is healthy. This is good for your body. It's full of minerals and vitamins. Yes, it helps your bones grow strong. Okay, yes, what is it? It's milk. It's milk. Okay, got milk? Got milk? <laughs> hey, you got milk? That, that was a big, um, a long time ago, that was a ad campaign for promoting milk on TV so they would have um, commercials promoting milk and the, and the um, tagline would be, um, got milk, <laughs> got milk, right? So if you're eating a cookie and then, oh, got milk, <laughs> you're eating a, um, you're having a sandwich, got milk. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> number three, oh, 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 equipment malfunction here. Okay, sorry. Okay, here we go, card number three. It's an animal. It has four legs. It has, it has spines or it has these, these needles or, uh, or a quill. Maybe they're called quills, like needles, and they protect this animal. And before I thought they shoot like, like ninjas, but no, they don't shoot, but it comes out easily. So, so if another animal attacks them, they'll get they'll get these needles or quills, um, they'll, they'll get stabbed, they'll get, they'll get um, th these quills will get stuck in their body and it hurts a lot, so it protects them. These, these needles or quills protect them and they're, they're cute, they're a cute animal. I think they're cute, but don't touch them because they have needles, they have quills, don't touch them. <clears throat> okay, yeah, okay, what is it? And you have it. It's a porcupine. Very good. It's a porcupine. It's a porcupine. Porcupine. Poink. Porcupine. 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 Okay, here we go. Last card. Number four. Number four. It's not a hedgehog. It's not a hedgehog. It's a porcupine. They're different. I think hedgehogs are smaller. Hedgehogs are small. They're cute. Yeah, hedgehogs are, are super cute. Yeah. I think porcupines are larger than hedgehogs. Okay, here we go. Number four, last card. Number four. This is uncountable, everyone. This is uncountable. Um, it's green. You see this on a golf course. People grow this around their house. You'll see this in a park. Even um, Wimbledon, they play tennis on this. At Wimbledon, if you like tennis, they play tennis on this. Um, let's see, uh, children, well, everybody likes, likes um, having a nap on this, right? So maybe you go to the park, you lay down and you take a nap in the park on a, a nice, beautiful day. And this feels very comfortable lying down on it. Um, we have to, it grows and so we have to cut it, right? Because it grows and if we want it to look beautiful, we, we cut it. Yeah, you got it, you got it, you got it, everyone. What is it? It's grass. That's right, it's grass. Nice, nicely done everyone. Well done, yeah, no problem for you. No problem for you. <clears throat> okay, good.
good, good, good. Okay, let's review this real quick. Here we go. What is it? It's an eagle. An eagle. What is it? It's milk. It's milk. What is it? It's a porcupine. It's a porcupine. What is it? It's grass. It's grass. So actually we have two uncountables, yeah? It's milk. It's grass. So these are uncountable. These are countable. And eagle starts with a vowel, so we say an eagle. Porcupine starts with a P, so we, we use a porcupine. An eagle, a porcupine. An eagle, a porcupine. An eagle, a porcupine. And milk, we don't count milk. It's liquid. We don't count liquids, right? For example, water, coffee, milk, beer. So those are liquids. We don't count those. They're uncountable, so we just say milk, we just say coffee, we just say beer, we just say uh, water. And then um, grass is uncountable because there's two, well, one, we call it a blade of grass, a blade of grass, but it's, it's simpler, just say grass. Do you have grass? Is there, is there grass around your house? Do you have to mow the grass? Do you have to cut the grass? Do you enjoy um, having a picnic on grass? Do, do you enjoy um, rolling around on grass? Okay, so do, do you like taking a nap on grass? Okay, good, so, um, okay, those are our review cards. Well done, well done. Okay, let's go to our second activity, everyone. Here we go. Which is better? Which is better? Okay, so now I want your opinion. I want what you think. I want to, I want to hear what you think about it, all right? So here, this is an opinion. This is a fact, right? These are facts. These are, what is it? So there's a right answer, wrong answer, right? So there's one choice, one answer, but here, there's not one answer. It's your idea, right? It's your opinion. So, so I want you to explain why you say or why you think that is better. Okay, so here we go. Second activity, Rita. That's right. Um, actually, I'm going to write it on the board so we keep everything, um, keep everything simple. So I'll just put a, a dash here. And... I will say, which is better? <clears throat> okay, which is better? I I'm going to get some magnets. We got a couple cards here. Two or three. I don't know. Depends on how much time we have. We have one. There's two. <clears throat> we might do two. We might do three. I'm not sure yet. Okay, here we go. Which is better? Which is better, winter or summer? Which is better, winter or summer? Which is better, winter or summer? So this is your opinion. Which is better, winter or summer? Which is better, winter or summer? So I want to see that in the chat, your opinion. What you think, which one you think is better. Why? Why do you think winter is better? Why do you think summer is better? Hey, Ross. Cheers, Ross. Ross is in the house. Cheers, Ross. Okay. Um, Kumari, I need to know why. I need to, I want you to explain your reason why. Radu says summer because you get to enjoy the beach properly. All right. Radu, that's a good answer. Lolly says summer is better because of sun. I don't like cold weather. Very good. Good to see Ross in the house. Pedro, winter is better because we play with the snow. Yeah, so in the winter we can do snow sports. Yeah, snow sports. Devender, winter is better because I don't like sweating. Oh, Devender lives in India and um, India is hot. <laughs> summer, right? The, the monsoon. 
the monsoon season, right, Devender? Here in Japan, we get, um, in, in June, we get the, the hot, wet, humid weather from India. It comes, it comes up from the Indian Ocean. Anna Maria, how you doing, Anna Maria? Anna Maria says summer because days last longer. Yeah, so, and we can make many things. That's right, Anna Maria. So the summer, the days are longer, right? We have more sunlight and we could do more things. So that's a great, great answer, Anna Maria. Summer is better because the days are longer and we can do more things. The days are longer and we can do more things. Okay, what's up? What's up? Nothing much. I'm here with you. That's what's up. I am here with you. That's what's happening right now. Air Lady says, for me, uh, winter is better because um, I had summer in Brazil. I love snow. Okay, so um, for Air Lady, winter is better because she loves the snow. She loves the snow. She lives in Michigan, so she has lots of snow in Michigan. <laughs> Okay, Vera says, um, winter is better because we have a lot of holidays. Ah, that's a good reason, Vera. So Vera likes holidays. So, right, Christmas and New Year's and, and holidays like that. Uh, Alice, summer's better because I don't like cold weather. Uh, Mordio says, summer is better because we have um, the sun, right? So the sun... Mm -hmm. Sewu, definitely summer is better because you can dress lightly in summer. Ah, yeah, that's a good point, right? In winter, you have to wear coats and turtlenecks and long underwear and tights and um, sweaters. Yeah, but summer, we just wear shorts and a t-shirt, right? Very comfortable, very good. Uh, Radu says summer because you sweat whether you like it or not, therefore lose weight. <laughs> you become slim and do not look like a pumpkin anymore. Okay, Radu likes sweating because Radu will lose weight and um, like a sauna, right? So sweat, 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 lose, lose, lose. <laughs> Devender, yeah, yep. Yeah. So. India is very hot. Yes, Devinder, I understand. Because we get your weather, right? So we get that monsoon here in Japan from India. Um, Helga, summer is better because it is more pleasant. It is warm. Uh, more thing, more... Yeah, okay. Don't have to wear um, so many clothes. And... The, the, green, the leaves are green and the grass is green. Good points, Helga. Okay, Tomas says, summer is better because we can go swimming. Ah, nice. Hello, Toys Review. Hello, hello. Um, Ross says, spring is better because, um, of, of, uh, um, because of the sunshine. But, but Ross, we are talking about winter and summer, not spring and fall. We are talking about summer and winter. Okay. Oh, Radu likes to build snowmen, so Radu likes winter. Rita, winter is better because it rains and we need the water. Yeah, good, good. The earth needs rain, right, Rita? Oh, I can't read Thai, but, um, or Vietnamese. I'm not sure. I forget if it's Thai or Vietnamese. Um, summer is better because the sun helps our bones grow stronger. Oh, I didn't. The sun helps our bones grow stronger. Okay. I believe. I, I know the sun gives us vitamin D. Ah, ah, ah. There we go. Sun gives us vitamin D, and vitamin D helps our bones. Like milk, right? Milk has vitamin D. Uh-oh. I have allergies. Oh no, I have. Okay, I need a, a. I need a tissue. Hold on, I'm sorry. I have to go for a minute. I gotta get 
Tissue box. Oh no, I gotta blow my nose. I will turn off my mic when I blow my nose so you don't have to hear me blow my nose. about that. So sorry, so sorry. Allergies. Right now it's spring, almost, well, I don't know. In, in Japan right now, the pollen is in the air and um, it affects my nose, it affects my eyes, it affects my throat. Thank you, Lolly. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, yeah, and, and right now we're getting like um, the dust from China, like the in Japan, we get um, from, the, from China, the desert in China, it blows over here to Japan. And so the air is full of sand and um, dust and pollen. So right now, though, the, the air isn't so good here in Japan. Oh, Vilmar is in the house. Hello, I am dying. My opposed team here in... Um, Porto Algre. I'm not sure how to pronounce where that is. Okay, football. <laughs> we just dropped by and say hello. Okay, so Vilmar's watching um, America. We say soccer. So right now, um, Vilmar is watching soccer and he's not happy. Air Lady, does it matter? Okay, um, does it matter winter or summer? I still have four bottles of water every day. Okay, air lady, good. Okay, air lady, it doesn't matter. Okay, so air lady, it doesn't matter. Winter or summer, I still drink four bottles of water every day. Here we go, one more time, air lady. It doesn't matter. Winter or summer, I still drink four bottles of of water every day. It doesn't matter, winter or summer. I still drink four bottles of water every day. Very good, very. Hey, for Anna here in the house, how you doing? That's okay. We basically, we've only been going for a little bit. So, A for Anna, no problem. No problem. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so let's go to our next card, shall we? Let's go to our next card. Okay, here we go. Card number two, everyone. Card number two. And which is better, breakfast or lunch? Which is better, breakfast or lunch? Which is better, breakfast or lunch? Please tell me. Okay, English student says summer. Why summer? Why summer? So please tell me why. Okay, which is better, breakfast or lunch? <laughs> no problem. That's very good, Air Lady. So Air Lady says, um, it doesn't matter winter or summer. She still drinks four bottles of water every day. Very healthy. Okay, um, which is better, breakfast or lunch? Pedro says breakfast is better because it's more delicious. Okay, Pedro, breakfast is better because it's more delicious. Radu says breakfast because the um, dietitians say it is the most important meal of the day. Yes, it is. Because I think it starts, it gets you going, right? So I think the reason it's the most important because it, it, it gives you fuel, it gives you energy in the morning to start your day, right? So if you start your day with a, 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 a big, healthy breakfast, you will have energy throughout the day. So I think that might be why it's the most important meal. Lolly says, breakfast is better because it's the first meal of the day. Yep, so that's what we're just talking, yeah. Okay, Air Lady, lunch, why? So Air Lady, please tell me why um, you like lunch better. Okay, summer is better than winter. Okay, why, 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 English student? Why? So I need to know why. Okay, um, Jama says summer is better because we use, oh, because we can run outdoors. 
Good, good. We can run outdoors. Denver, um, breakfast because breakfast is better because after sleeping, it is the first meal for me. Yeah, after after sleeping, it's the first meal for me, so it's better. Oh, Air Lady doesn't like breakfast much. I don't like breakfast much. I don't like breakfast much. Uh, a for Honest says breakfast is better because we can have breakfast like a king. <laughs> Vilmar, there you go. <laughs> uh, Tomas says lunch is better because for lunch we eat more food than for breakfast. Oh, maybe, okay, <clears throat> maybe Tomas, you're talking about the variety of food. Okay, so I think that's what you mean, Tomas, the variety of food, right? So, so breakfast is basically, you know, your eggs, um, cereal, where, where um, lunch, there's more variety, right? There's more choices. So how about that? Tomas, I like lunch because there are more choices. Here we go, Tomas. I like lunch because there are more choices. Okay, Peter says, there is no difference between breakfast and lunch because everything is delicious. Okay, but Peter, you have to choose which one. Choose one, please, and why? For me, lunch is much better. For, okay, Air Lady, for me, lunch is much better. For me, Lunch is much better. Okay, Air Lady, I want you to um, fix your sentence, please. Tetsuro, breakfast, because I'm not hungry at noon. Okay, because of a good lunch. Uh, because of a good breakfast, Tetsuro is not hungry at noon. Ross, breakfast is better because I like to drink coffee in the morning. I like to drink coffee in the morning. I like to drink coffee in the morning. Oh, Miriam, thank you so much. That's a long name. You have one, two, three. You have four names. <laughs> Miriam has four names. Very long. Thank you so much. Okay, yeah. Um, Air Lady says, I eat cereal every day. I do too. Actually, I eat um, oatmeal every day. Oatmeal is a cereal. Me too, Air Lady. I do too. Radu likes breakfast because... Eating cereal with milk is delicious in the morning. I agree. I agree with you. Okay, English study says, because I can go to the beach and wear my bikini. Okay, good. So, so okay, so English student, um, English student likes summer better because um, she can go to the beach and wear her bikini. Okay, good. Okay. Let's see, Monk says, breakfast is better because um, it starts a new day. Oh, Monk, breakfast is better because it starts a new day. Breakfast is better because it starts a new day. Breakfast is better because it starts a new day. Very good. Devinder, in India, here is a story. We need to eat breakfast like a king, lunch as a soldier, and dinner as a um, beggar. Oh, very interesting. Very interesting, Devinder. So, in India, the story is breakfast, we should eat like a king. Lunch, we should eat like a soldier. And dinner, we should eat like a beggar. Oh, very good. So, so in the morning, we should have the big meal and then our meal should get um, smaller and smaller as night approaches. Very good. Very good. Vera, um, lunch is better because we have, oh, we get a break during a, our work day. Oh, Vera, you, Vera, you have great, great um, ideas today, Vera. Very interesting points of view right now. Your point of view is very good, Vera. Vera is saying um, lunch is better because we get a break during our work day. Yeah, so, so we work hard, but at lunchtime, we have a break and we could relax and have lunch. That's good, Vera. Air Lady, because I eat cereal and fruit every day, that is why I like um, breakfast much better. 
So better than lunch. Yeah, good, 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 air lady. Okay, Lolly, I don't like breakfast either. Lolly, why, Lolly? Come on, Lolly. Eat breakfast. Come on. It's delicious, Lolly. You don't like oatmeal either. Come on, Lolly. Come on. It's good. It's good. Try it. Well, get used to it. Maybe <clears throat> do this, Lolly. Force yourself to eat it, right? Maybe at the beginning, I don't like it. But then each day, I think you will enjoy it more and more. Okay, then you'll get used to it. But when you have oatmeal, put fruit, put like a banana in it. Put, a <coughs> put some like raisins in it. Put some granola in it. Put some blueberries in it. And so that makes it um, tastier. So try that, Lolly. Okay. Okay, good, everyone. Do it, Lolly. It's good for you. Oh, okay, Helga says, they say, eat breakfast yourself, dinner, share with a friend, and supper, give to an enemy. Okay, maybe um, supper is, Helga, supper is dinner. So how about this? Lunch, maybe. Eat breakfast yourself, lunch, share lunch with a friend, and give supper to an enemy. How about that? One more time, Helga. Eat breakfast yourself, share lunch with a friend, and give supper to an enemy. Good, good, good. Okay, nice. Okay, let's do one more. Alice says, lunch is better because I have brunch. Okay, so Alice, it's brunch. So I don't know, maybe you know this or not, <clears throat> but combination, right? So breakfast, lunch, brunch, brunch. So we're, we're combining breakfast and lunch together. And so maybe um, in America, brunch is popular on Sunday. So you might go to a restaurant and they have um, a champagne brunch. And so um, it's, it's kind of like an early lunch and breakfast. So, so it might start at 11 a.m. And they'll have like uh, Bloody Marys and, and champagne. <laughs> and so like you drink and eat Sunday morning, right? Maybe 11 a.m. You combine uh, breakfast and lunch together and we call that brunch and it's enjoyable. Here in Japan, we don't have that, that custom. There's not that culture here in Japan. So you don't see brunches in Japan. I miss brunch. Like um, I'm from Los Angeles. And like, especially in the summer, right? You have like on Sunday, you go, you go to a restaurant near the beach and it's nice outside. You sit outside, they have like patio seating. So you're outside, the weather is, is nice. The sun is shining and you're having like Bloody Marys. And I don't like champagne, so I'll, I'll have a Bloody Mary. And we have, um, so a brunch might be like a, you know, omelets and, and um, like eggs benedict, you know, like an egg dish with um, some bread and um, vegetables and salad. And it's, it's nice. It's fun it's with friends. Yeah. Okay. Good, 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 good. Uh, okay. Helga, eat breakfast yourself. Share lunch with a friend and give, and give supper to an enemy. Perfect, Helga. So... So everyone, did you see that? So um, I helped Helga fix her sentence and she, she wrote and she wrote it again, um, making the correction. So that was great. So Helga is a good listener. So she listened to me and then she rewrote her sentence. She, she rewrote, she, she fixed her, her mistakes and she wrote a beautiful sentence. Good job, Helga. That's, that is active learning. That's right, Helga. That is active learning. You're listening. Okay, I need to fix my sentence. You listened and you did it. So you're, you're listening and writing. So you're being active. 
with your learning. So that, that's the best, Helga. Active learning. Very good. Okay. No, shit. Lolly, champagne is, I can't drink champagne. No, champagne is terrible. I, I can't drink white wine and I can't drink champagne. The taste is just terrible. Oh, I don't like champagne. I don't like white wine. I don't like Zeffendel. Zeffendel, like the pink wine. Oh, terrible. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do one more. I got one more magnet. And this is good. You guys, I love your answers. This is, see, this is good for like vocabulary. You know, what is it? But I like this better. <laughs> I, like, I like these activities best where you're explaining why you're giving, you're giving um, everyone good, good ideas. You are sharing interesting stories. Your opinion, what you think about something is very interesting. And so I like reading what you, you know, I like hearing what you, what you think about it. And it's, it's great. So um, good job, everyone. Keep it up. Okay, let's do one more. Number three, number three right here. Which is better? Which is better? Uh, Farah says, breakfast I eat pound cake. No, no, that's not healthy, Farah. Pound cake is not, <coughs> that is not healthy. Don't do it. No, that's dessert. Farah, don't, don't have dessert for breakfast. Please don't do that. Don't have breakfast with, don't have dessert with breakfast. No, no. You could have dessert with, with um, lunch or dinner, but don't have dessert with breakfast. It's too early in the morning. Oh, thank you, Alice. Okay. Oh, Air Lady doesn't like alcohol. Air Lady, you're very healthy. You're, um, that's good. I, I do. I enjoy, um, I don't drink a lot, but... Um, being sociable with friends, I enjoy that. Um, drinking with friends, I enjoy that. Okay, here we go. Oh, Sanchez. Thank you, Sanchez. Mm, big kiss. Mwah. Thank you. Okay. Radu, we need to drink some vodka sometime. Okay, Radu, let's, let's, let's go and um, share a drink together. Okay, Radu, let's share a drink together. Oh, Hajar's in the house. Hey, Hajar, how are you doing? Mwah. Good to see Hajar. Um, so everyone, Hajar's father is back home. So remember, um, I think it was Wednesday, we all prayed for her father and he was in the hospital. Now he's back home. So um, that's, that's great, Hajar. We are very happy. The power of our community helped your father, yes? <laughs> Okay, good. Okay, here we go. One more. Card number three. Which is better? Which is better? Hiking or fishing? Which is better? Hiking or fishing? And why? Which is better? Hiking or fishing? And why? Which is better? Hiking or fishing? And of course, why? Please tell me why. <clears throat> Okay, which is better, hiking or fishing? Which is better, hiking or fishing? Which is better, hiking or fishing? Please tell me why. Please tell me your reason why. <clears throat> okay, BB says, hiking is better because I will lose a lot of weight so I prefer hiking. Okay, so BB prefers hiking because of the exercise, right? So BB gets exercise. BB can um, stay healthy by exercising. Oh, Lolly, this is interesting. Fishing because after fishing you can eat fish. Wow, I didn't know Lolly's a fisher person, a fisher woman. So Lolly's a fisher woman. <laughs> Pedro says, hiking is better because we can see nature. So we, okay, Pedro, we say see nature, not know, 
we say see nature. We can, hiking is better because we can see nature. Okay, right, do hiking because you can burn more calories. Yes, English student. For me, um, neither. I don't know how to do either. Well, wait, 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 wait. English student, hiking is just walking in, in nature. Just walking in, you know, like in the trees. <laughs> walking on the, on the ground. So hiking is just, you're, you're in nature. You're, you're in the, the forest. You're, you know, there's no cars. There's no, um, no concrete, right? It's just dirt and trees. So you, everyone can do this. Everyone can go hiking. Hajar, fishing because you can eat fish after. Yes. Tomas, fishing is better because we can stay, because we can sit. Okay, Tomas says fishing is better because we can sit. <clears throat> Vera says fishing is better because you can get time for rest. Radu, fishing because you have the chance to finish the activity um, with something to eat. Yeah, there's, there's the reward, right? So reward meaning um, a, a benefit, right? So, so we could say the benefit for hiking is exercise, right? So that's the reward. That's the good thing we get for doing that, right? Hiking and we're getting exercise and we are, um, it's good for our body, right? We're fishing, the reward, the benefit is a fish you can eat. So here you're like, you're waiting, right? You're being patient, right? You have to be you have to wait and be very quiet. So I like fishing too. I like both. And I enjoy hiking because I can see, you know, uh, the trees and, and there's no cars, no concrete, no people, not many people, right? So I enjoy hiking to, so it's quiet because it's quiet and I can, um, I can relax by walking. So for me, walking is relaxing and um, fishing, I enjoy fishing because you have to be quiet and be patient. But the reward from fishing is you get the fish and you can eat a delicious um, fish. Yeah, that's the reward. Okay, let me go back. Uh, Sebu says fishing is better. You can learn patience while fishing. Yes, Sewu, that's what I just said. Yes, so you have to be very patient while fishing. Good, Sewu. Whoa, Tomas said, yesterday I ate canned salmon. Yeah, I love like smoked salmon. Yes, I like salmon very much. Devender, hiking, because you can get fresh air. Yeah, so, so hiking because we, we can get fresh air. Very good. Yeah, good say. So it's the reward, right? So um, fishing, the reward is getting a fish, right? Tetsuro, hiking, because I can stand until, wait, wait, hitting a fish and I'm hasty. Tetsuro, I'm not sure. One more time, Tetsuro, I don't understand your sentence. Please, tree, please think about it and rewrite it. Uh, Hajar, I think both of them are important. Fishing makes you focus and walking is good exercise. Very good, Hajar. That's right. I think both are important. Fishing, um, fishing makes you focus and hiking gives you exercise. Fishing, you have to focus and hiking, you get to exercise. Good, Hajar. Yeah, Marion, uh, hiking because I move, right? When we're hiking, we're moving. Yeah, oh, good, good, English student. Okay, I prefer hiking because I can connect with nature. Nice sentence. I prefer hiking because I can connect with nature. So connect meaning 
make a connection. So you, you feel when, when you're hiking in, in the forest, right? For example, many trees, you're, you're connecting, meaning you're, you, can, um, you can understand the trees and, and you can understand the situation, right? Like, oh, I'm, I'm in the trees. I'm away from people. I'm, I'm feeling like the, the wonderness of being in the forest, right? I understand I, the smell, right? So all your senses are happening, right? So when you're hiking in the forest, the smell of the trees, yeah? So you, the sense of smell is happening. Oh, maybe birds, right? You hear many birds singing in the forest. So your, your sense of, of sound is happening, right? So you're connecting with the smell, you're connecting with the sound, and you're walking and it, it's, you feel your feet, right? The rocks on your feet. You feel the dirt on your feet. You, you, like when you're walking in the city, everything is flat, right? Maybe, you know, the concrete, it's flat. But when you're in the forest, you know, it's not flat. And there's rocks and, and, and leaves. And so the sound, there's crunching as you're walking. And, and so everything is happening, right? So your eyes, you're seeing the trees. So the sense, your, your eyes are, you know, the sights are happening. The sounds are happening. The, the, the smell is happening. So you're connecting with nature. Yes. <laughs> Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Good to see you. Okay, good, good. Which is better, hiking or fishing? Okay, well done, everyone. Yes. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Well, like I say, let's keep the ball rolling. Let's keep the train on the tracks and let's stay the course. All right. So our next activity, number three, is finish the sentence. Finish the sentence. All right. So let's do that. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to give you a pattern. I'm going to start you with this. I'm going to start you off and you're going to finish. I will start, you finish. Start, finish, okay? So I will give you a pattern. I will give you part of a sentence and I want you to finish the sentence. Okay, so let's do that. Finish the sentence. I'm going to put a, 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 a dash right there. There's a, 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 the line is, there's dashes there. And so we're going to um, write the, the sentence here. So our first sentence, our first pattern. Okay, so finish the sentence. I'm going to write that here. Finish the sentence. Okay, so finish the sentence. And the, the um, start is I left. I left. Okay, and here's a picture to help you understand I left. Okay, I left. So please, please finish the sentence. I left. Yes, Tetsuro, the third activity. Keep the ball rolling, Lolly. Keep the ball rolling, Lolly. Let's keep the ball rolling. <laughs> Don't stop the ball. Can't stop the ball. Don't stop the ball. Mmm. Devender says, I left the bank. Nice, nice, nice. I left the bank. Oh, Letitia. I left a message on your phone. Nice. I left. Nice one, Letitia. I left a message on your phone. Letitia, I like it, I like it. Okay. Let's see. Oh no, I left my key in the car. Oh no, I left my key in the car. And someone took it. And someone took my car. I left the key in my car and someone took my car. 
I left my phone at home. I left my phone at home. Oh no, I left my phone. I've done that before. I've done that many times. Yes, he does, Devinder. <laughs> oh, Vera, bad girl. I left the meeting early. Bad girl, Vera. Bad, bad, bad. I left. <laughs> I left the meeting early. Oh, no, no, no. It's E E, not T T. No, no, no. It's E E, not T T. <laughs> I left the meeting early. Oh, Vera. Bad girl, Vera. Don't leave the meeting early. That's not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> Radu says, I left $5 on the bedside table in your room. Oh, whose room? What were you doing? What were you, Radu, what were you doing in that room? Oh, Radu, bad boy, bad boy, Radu. Ah, Jonathan says, I left a comment on your channel. Thank you for doing that, Jonathan. Thank you for doing that. I left a comment on your channel. Thank you so much, Jonathan. I appreciate that. I appreciate all your comments. I really, really do. Okay. Marion, I left the office. Okay, Marion, I left the office. I left the office. I hope on time, not like Vera. I left the office. I hope you left on time, not early, not like Vera. Vera left early. I hope, Marion, you left on time. I'm kidding, Vera. I'm joking. Yeah. Okay, Sebu says, I left good memories in the picture. Oh, very. That is very beautiful. Alice says, I left my breakfast. Wait, Alice, I left my breakfast time to. Oh, okay. That's a little, okay. I understand. Um, I, 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 I skipped breakfast to make your lesson. So, okay. How about, um, yeah, that's, I skipped breakfast. So that, please make another sentence, okay? So we, when you don't have breakfast, we say skip. But here we, I left, I left. Oh, Devinder, I left my face mask on the ground. Air lady, thank you, air lady. Mwah. Let's see, Lolly says, I missed it. Okay. <laughs> Lolly wants some money from, from Radu. <laughs> oh, uh oh, Radu, did you leave money at, at Lolly's house? Was that Lolly's bedside table? Oh no, Radu, Lolly, don't, I don't want to hear it. No, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Evelyn, I left my husband <laughs> without lunch today. Okay, okay, okay. You didn't leave your husband for good. You didn't say sirenata. You, you, you left, I left my husband without lunch. Okay, how about I left without making lunch for my husband. How about this? Okay, Evelyn, I left before making lunch for my husband. I left before making lunch for my husband. I left before making lunch for my husband. Oh, Devinder, I left my important paper at home. Ah, don't do that. Marion, I left the station. Marion, I left the station. I left the station. Oh, Tomas, very generous. Tomas is giving Lolly $10. Very, very generous of you. Tetsuro, I left cash. I left a cash card at the ATM. Oh, Tetsuro, don't do that. Danger, danger, very dangerous. Lolly is not satisfied. 
Sorry, Tomas. Lolly is not satisfied with only $10. She wants more. Lolly is not satisfied with $10. She wants more. Ah, Rita. Nice one. Rita says, I left bad thoughts behind. Oh, that is, that is poetry, Rita. That is, that is very important to do. That is so important to do. I try to do that. When I'm walking, I don't want to think about bad things. I only want to think about good things. So, Rita, very nice. I left bad thoughts behind. See, Rita is very healthy. She, Rita is, has a beautiful mind. She's very happy. She has a good life. Rita has a, a great life. She has a beautiful house. She has um, great kids. I, I saw her son. And um, Rita has a beautiful life because she can leave bad thoughts behind. So she's pure. Rita, big kiss for you. Mwah. Very nice, Rita. Oh no, Dora, I left my dog in the hospital. That's very sad. Alice says, I left my Zoom meeting last week. <laughs> Good for you, Alice. Okay, Pedro. I left my tissues at the hospital. Oh, me, mine are over there. I'll give, you, I'll give you some of mine, Pedro. I'll give you some of my tissues. Okay, Marion. <clears throat> okay, Evelyn, nice. Okay, Evelyn just fixed her sentence. I left before making lunch for my husband. Perfect, Evelyn. Nicely done, perfect, Evelyn. Active learning. Evelyn is doing active learning. Very good. Active learning, Evelyn. Okay. Okay, nice. Sebu says, my grandma left her dentures <laughs> in my desk. <laughs> oh, no, I can see. So here's Sebu. She, she's... She, she's going to study or she's going to do some work. She opens her desk, the drawer, and there's like, ah, there's teeth. There's dentures in my desk. Oh, my. What happened? <laughs> oh, Sewu. That, that's funny. That's funny, Sewu. <laughs> oh, I, I wouldn't like that. I'd go, oh, my God. <laughs> Grandma left her dentures in my desk again. And then, and then here, Sebu, so she, then she's going, Grandma, Grandma, don't leave your dentures in my desk anymore. Grandma, don't leave your dentures in my desk anymore. <laughs> and then Grandma comes in the, I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> oh. That's funny. Say, where, where do you think that you're a comedian? I hope, I hope you're kidding. I hope that's not true. <laughs> I hope that's not true, Sewu. Okay, okay. I'm looking at the clock. We got to keep the ball rolling. We got to keep the train on the track. And we got to stay the course. Yes. Okay, I'm going to put the card right here. And... Now we're going to do our dictation cards. Yes, it's time for dictation practice. Okay, I'm going to put the card right here. There we go. And our whiteboard looks very nice, doesn't it? Our whiteboard looks very nice. So let's take a picture of it. Yeah, and I'm going to take a picture of it so you can check it out anytime you want to. Yeah. You just go to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice, and you can have a look at the whiteboard anytime you want to. So I'm going to um, open my phone, and there is the camera's on. I'm going to go over here. You can't see me, but you can hear me. And I'm going to take a picture. Here we go. Count down. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I got the picture. Okay, and after today's lesson, I will upload it 
to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. Okay, good, good, good. Very organized, yeah, Radu. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of this. A lot of sometimes it's very messy. My the whiteboard, um, many times very messy, and I, I'm sorry about that. But today it's very organized, isn't it? It looks nice. So I'm, 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 I'm proud of my whiteboard today. I'm very proud of my whiteboard today. Yeah. Okay. Now um, let's do. Dictation cards. Yeah, you know dictation cards. And today's Friday. That means these are the members, the green team. They are sentences, okay? But today's not, they're not so long today. Sometimes sentences are very long. So today is, yeah, today's good. It's not, they're, 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 they're kind of medium length. They're not long. They're not sh uh, a couple short. But I would say most of the cards today are medium length sentences. So that the sentences are medium length. So it's, it's a little bit of a challenge. And we have today one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 cards. Okay, we have 11 cards. And today's cards are from, I'm going to read the names, okay? So we have, today we have Dr. Ramirez, Tomas, A for Anna, Marion, Lolly, Sophia, Fran, Ava, Miley, Larissa, Rita, okay, so those are our green team members. These are their cards. Their names are in green. They did it, okay? So um, we're going to do that. And of course, we're doing four steps. Of course, four steps. One, two, three, four. I'm going to write the four steps right here. Of course, dictation, yeah, that's what this is. We're going to do dictation, and then we will do shadow and meaning. And because we have many cards today, so we're not going to do on your own. We're going to do review, okay? So we're going to review. And quiz. Okay, so those are our four steps for the dictation cards. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. All right, so um, green team assembly. <laughs> assemble, sorry, assemble. That's right, Tetsuro. Okay, so these are from our green team. Okay, here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix them up. Oh, uh, Kumari, this, these are from, you have to be a member, the green team. Let's see, you can see the people have, their names are green. They're the members of the channel. So um, that's what's happening. Yep. Okay, Lolly, stop shuffling. I just did. Okay, here we go. Okay, Radu. Oh, no. Azizi, I left my phone on the bus. Don't do that, Azizi. That, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, let's do it, Ray. Okay, pencil and paper, everyone. Pencil. <laughs> a big pen pencil and paper. Yes, you need a pencil and paper because you're going to write down what I say word for word. Yeah? Okay. So please have your pencil and paper. Okay, here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two. Oh, oh, wait. I got to tell you the topic. I forgot. So today's topic is child's play. So that means 
very easy, something that's very easy to do. Something very easy to do. So child's play. Oh, it's child's play. It's very easy. Okay, so child's play means to do something very, it's very easy to do it. It's like, ah, oh, no problem. It's child play. It's child's play. Oh, that's easy. It's child's play. Okay, so something very easy to do. Okay. Yeah, Pedro. So it's child's play, meaning it's very easy. I left my tea on the table. I left my coffee on the table right here. Okay, yes, child's play. Here we go. <laughs> no, Pedro. No, Pedro. It's an expression. It's an idiom. So it's just an expression. It's just an idiom. So it's not, it's not really, you're not really playing like a child. It, you'll see. Just dictate. You'll understand, okay, Pedro. So please write down what I say word for word. Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. If you master a few survival techniques, choosing a camp should be child's play. That's a long one, right from the beginning. That's our longest one, everyone. So this is the longest. So you're getting the longest first. Here we go. Second time. If you master a few survival techniques, choosing a camp should be child's play. Third time. If you master a few survival techniques, choosing a camp should be child's play. Okay, card number two, card number two. I do patchwork and it's child's play for me. <clears throat> Thank you, Johnny Bravo. I like that name. I do patchwork and it's child's play for me. Oh, Jama, that's not good. I do patchwork and it's child's play for me. Okay, card number three. My life is full of daily challenges, but I trust in God, so it's child's play. My life is full of daily challenges. But I trust in God, so it's child's play. My life is full of daily challenges, but I trust in God, so it's child's play. Okay, card number four. <clears throat> After excellent training, passing this exam was child's play. After excellent training, passing this exam was child's play. After excellent training, Passing this exam was child's play. Okay, number five. Changing a flat tire is child's play for me. Changing a flat tire is child's play for me. Changing a flat tire is child's play for me. <clears throat> what are we now? 
card number six now. Card six. Assembling the DIY <coughs> furniture is child's play for me. Assembling the DIY furniture is child's play for me. Assembling the DIY furniture is child's play for me. After climbing the Himalayas, climbing the Alps was child's play. After climbing the Himalayas, climbing the Alps was child's play. After climbing the Himalayas, climbing the Alps was child's play. Okay, 11, 12, okay, this is eight, card number eight. If you practice enough, driving will be child's play. If you practice enough, driving will be child's play. If you practice enough, driving will be child's play. Okay, nine. Card number nine. It is child's play to swim in the lake after swimming in the sea. It is child's play to swim in the lake after swimming in the sea. It is child's play to swim in the lake after swimming in the sea. Okay, number 10. We got two more cards. This is 10, card number 10. For me, walking 10 kilometers is child's play. For me, walking 10 kilometers is child's play. For me, Walking 10 kilometers is child's play. Last card, everyone. Last card. Here we go. Number 11. Being a nurse is a significant challenge, not child's play. Being a nurse is significant ch challenge. I'm sorry, one more time. Sorry, my mistake. Being a nurse is a significant challenge, not child's play. Being a nurse is a significant challenge, not child's play. Okay. That was it. Yeah, that was a lot of, pri a lot of writing. You guys did a lot of writing. But that's why you're here, right? You're here to practice English. And you just did a lot of practicing. You just did a lot of practicing. That's why you are here. That's the purpose, right? Okay, so we did the dictation. Okay, now we're going to shadow. That is, we're going to practice speaking, yeah? This is speaking practice. Dictation was writing practice. Shadowing is speaking practice, all right? So let's do it, you and me together. Let's do speaking practice together. Here we go, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. If you master a few survival techniques, choosing a camp should be child's play. If you master a few survival techniques, choosing a camp should be child's play. 
If you master a few survival techniques, choosing a camp should be child's play. That was hard, Pedro, but it's okay, Pedro, it's okay. Difficult, you know, we're here to practice, yeah. If you master a few survival techniques, choosing a camp should be child's play. This is from Marion. This is Marion's sentence. Okay. Card two. I do patchwork and it's child's play for me. I do, I do patchwork and it's child's play for me. I do patchwork and it's child's play for me. I do patchwork and it's child's play for me. This is Ava's sentence and Ava does patchwork and so like a quilt, right? So um, patchwork, you cut squares or, or shapes and then you put them together and um, this is what Ava likes to do. <laughs> so it's child's play for her. It's very easy for her to do that. Okay, card three. My life is full of daily challenges, but I trust in God, so it's child's play. My life is full of daily challenges, but I trust in God, so it's child's play. <laughs> My life is full of daily challenges, but I trust in God, so it's child's play. My life is full of daily challenges, but I trust in God. So it's child's play. This is Rita's sentence. So because Rita believes in God, the challenges are not a problem for her. her the daily challenges are not a problem for Rita because she believes in God. So not a problem. <laughs> Number four. After excellent training, passing this exam was child's play. After excellent training, passing this exam was child's play. After excellent training, passing this exam was child's play. After excellent training, Passing this exam was child's play. So it's Larissa's sentence, right? So if, if you practice hard, if you study hard, then you should pass the exams, yes. Okay, five. Changing a flat tire is child's play for me. Changing a flat tire is child's play for me. Changing a flat tire is child's play for me. <laughs> Changing a flat tire is, chi is child's play for me. This is Tomas's sentence. So Tomas has no problem fixing a flat or changing a flat tire. It's easy for Tomas. Okay, number six. Assembling the DIY furniture is child's play for me. Assembling the DIY furniture is child's play for me. Assembling the DIY furniture is child's play for me. Assembling the DIY furniture is child's play for me. This is A for Anna, this is her sentence. And um, DIY, do it yourself, do it yourself. And assembly means put it together. So, so for A for Anna, for Anna, putting together the um, furniture is not a problem. It's easy, so maybe she just 
follows the directions, right? Okay, and just put it together like a puzzle. So maybe, maybe Anna likes puzzles. <laughs> she likes putting the puzzles together. She likes putting the furniture together. It's child's play for her. Okay, our next sentence. After climbing the Himalayas, climbing the Alps was child's play. After climbing the Himalayas, climbing the Alps was child's play. After climbing the Himalayas, climbing the Alps was child's play. After climbing the Himalayas, climbing the Alps was child's play. This is Miley's sentence. So the Himalayas are the tallest mountains in the world, right? And so the Alps in, in Europe was nothing after doing the Himalayas. Okay, here we go. Next one. If you practice enough, driving will be child's play. If you practice enough, driving will be child's play. If you practice enough, driving will be child's play. <laughs> Tomas, Ikea, yes. <laughs> if you practice enough, driving will be child's play. This is Sophia's sentence. So if you practice enough, driving will be child's play. So after you know driving for a long time, it's easy. After lots of practice, it's easy. Okay, here we go. This is nine. It is child's play to swim in the lake after swimming in the sea. <laughs> it is child's play to swim in the lake after swimming in the sea. It is child's play to swim in the lake after swimming in the sea. It is child's play to swim in the lake after swimming in the sea. This is Fran's sentence. Yeah, so what Fran is saying, um, if you can swim in the sea, then swimming in the lake is easy because the sea, you know, the, the water is very rough, there's currents, there's waves, right? But a lake is flat and, you know, um, calm so if you can swim in the sea then you could swim in then swimming in the lake is not a problem it is child's play okay number 10 card number 10 for me walking 10 kilometers is child's play for me walking 10 kilometers is child's play for me walking 10 kilometers is child's play For me, walking 10 kilometers is child's play. So this is Dr. Ramirez's sentence. So for her, walking 10 kilometers is simple, not a problem. It is too easy. It is child's play. <laughs> okay, here we go. Number 11, last card. Vera, here I am. Vera says, where's Mark? Here I am. Vera, I'm right here. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Okay, here we go. Card 11. Last card. Being a nurse is a significant challenge, not child's play. Being a nurse is, is a significant challenge, not child's play. Being a nurse is a significant challenge, not child's play. This is Lolly's sentence. Lolly says, being a nurse is a significant challenge, not child's play. No, not child's play. So 
Lolly's a nurse. And so it significant meaning it, it's um, difficult. So it, it's a so it's a big challenge. So here, a significant challenge, meaning like a big challenge. A a a um, a big challenge, a, a, uh, 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 okay. I can't really think of any other adjectives. Significant, big, yay, it's Lolly. <laughs> There's Lolly right here. So I, I, I took a picture of Lolly, and there she is. There's Lolly in her, in her, in her, her, her green, um, nurse what we call this is like a smock or something gown nurse gown i forgot what but anyways okay good job yeah good job everyone yep okay so um we shadowed we had speaking practice and we talked about the meaning yeah we did it okay Review. Okay, so let, let's go over these one more time. Okay, so let's just go over these one more time and then we'll have a quiz. Okay, so so this is one more time for you to remember for the quiz. Okay, so let's review for the quiz. Okay, the big challenge, the big challenge, the big quiz. The big quiz is the big challenge. Here we go. It's a matter no it's not a no mistake my mistake i'm sorry my mistake here we go one more time if you master a few survival techniques choosing a camp should be child's play thank you marion i do patchwork and it's child's play for me Thank you, Ava. My life is full of daily challenges, but I trust in God, so it's child's play. Thank you, Rita. After excellent training, passing this exam was child's play. Thank you, Larissa. Changing a flat tire is child's play for me. Thank you, Tomas. Assembling the DIY furniture is child's play for me. Thank you, Anna. After climbing the Himalayas, climbing the Alps was child's play. Thank you, Miley. If you practice enough, driving will be child's play. Thank you, Sophia. It is child's play to swim in the lake after swimming in the sea. Thank you, Fran. For me, walking 10 kilometers is child's play. Thank you, Dr. Ramirez. Being a nurse is a significant challenge, not child's play. Thank you, Lolly. <laughs> yeah, okay, so Lolly was not child's play, right? So not easy, right? Child's play is very easy, and then if you put not, then it means it's difficult, okay? So not easy. Being a nurse is not easy. It's difficult. Okay, good. That was the review. Now it's quiz time. Quiz, quiz time. 
Yeah, Rita, I like it too. So Rita says, I like this idea is good for us to improve our English. Yeah, and wh what I like about this, it's I didn't do this. It's you, your, your idea, right? And so um, what, what's good is, you know, I'm, I'm here, like, okay, I'm the teacher. And so you get used to what, you get used to, like, my, my, um, what, what, what's the word I want to say? Like, m you get used to, like, my thinking, right? So my, um, like, like, <sighs> I'm, I can't think of the word right now. Like, idea, not idea, but my, my way of doing things, right? So maybe you can get used to, like, my way of doing things, like, like um, my, what's the word? I, I don't want to say idea. There's a word I can't think of. Like, my, oh, I can't think of that word. It's just escaping me. But not my system, not my system, not my idea, my, um, oh, Mark, I can't believe I can't think of this word. Um, so you get used to like my sentences, right? Maybe. But what's really good is these aren't my sentences, right? These are, these are the member sentences. So, so it's a good like mix, right? So you get my, you get my, or my logic. Okay, Radu, yeah, like, like my logic, my, my, um, still, there's a word I'm looking for. I'm, I'm looking for a different word. I can't find, it's in my head. I can't, I can't retrieve it. It's not, it's not coming. But um, anyway, so, like, you might get used to, like, my, my way of it. Um, you know, my sentences, my thinking, but um, what's good here is like, it's not me, right? It's you guys. So that's just great. So, um, okay, I'm from Los Angeles, California, but now I live in Japan. Yeah, so your examples, exactly, Rita. So, so your, what you think about things, yeah? Okay, so let's do the quiz now. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle the cards. So I don't know which rationale. I wouldn't say rationale, Radu. Gosh, it's, it's bugging me right now. I'll think of the word. It'll come to me probably after. <laughs> It'll probably come to me like later today when I'm walking or something. Then I'll go, oh, that's the word. I, it, it always happens, right? It's not going to happen now when I need the word. It's going to come after, right, when it's, when I don't need it. <laughs> I need the word now, not later. Okay, okay, stop shuffling. You got it, Lolly. Okay, I'm going to choose three cards, and you write the sentence in the chat. You write the sentence in the chat. Okay, here we go. Quiz card one. What is the sentence? Here we go. What is the sentence? Thank you, Solemn. Okay, what is the sentence? Please write the sentence in the chat. 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 I'm still trying to think of that word. Oh. Wow, great. Um, I, I, I don't read Arabic, but um, tell your teacher very, um, thank you very much. Mwah. Tell your teacher, thank you very, very much for using my videos in your class. That's great, fantastic. I'm very, very happy about that. It makes me, it makes me happy. Yes. It gives me purpose. It makes me feel I'm helping people. And that's what I like doing. I like helping people. So I'm very happy about that. Okay, Helga's on the board. If you practice enough, driving will be child's play. 
Sebu, if you practice enough driving, if you practice enough, driving will be child's play. So you need a little comment there. So, so see Sebu's sentence. Without the comment, then it's, it's kind of difficult to read. So if you look at Helga, if you practice enough, comma, driving will be child's play. So it's very easy to read that. With, but without the, without the comma, it, it becomes um, difficult to read. Oh, no, Lolly. This, is, this isn't Tomas's. Uh, Devender, if you practice well, driving will be child's play. Tetsuro, if you practice enough, driving will be child's play. Ross, if you practice enough, driving will be child's play. Let's put the comma to make it easier to read. Marion, if you practice enough, driving will be child's play. Peter, if you practice enough, comma, driving will be child's play. Yeah, reasoning. That, that's good. Yeah, okay, I like, re, yeah, like my reasoning. Yeah, okay, thank you. That's a, yeah, probably that's what I was looking for, Radu. Yep, so like my reasoning, my style, my reasoning, my thinking. Reason, like why I, I yeah, so the, the purpose, why I write that. So my reasoning. Thank you, Radu. You're helping me, Radu. Thank you for the help. Thank you so much for your help. Monk says, if you practice enough, driving will be child's play. Rita. <laughs> I, I never take granite from you guys. I understand you give me lots of value, Rita. You give me lots of value. Okay, Samuel. Oh, Lolly's angry. Lolly, it's okay. Don't be angry. Actually, Lolly, they're both cars, right? Changing a flat tire is a car, and then driving is a car. So that is a simple mistake, Lolly. Okay, here we go. And the sentence is, if you practice enough, Driving will be child's play. Very good, very good. Oh, there you go, Rita. So that's good practice. So Rita changed driving to English. So Rita said, if you practice enough, English will be child's play. Very good. So that's nice, Rita. So Rita just took the same pattern and changed driving to English. So we could say, if you practice enough, um, tennis will be child's play. If you practice enough, um, writing will be child's play. If you practice enough, um, reading will be child's play, right? So you just, you could just substitute any verb, right? So here, if you practice enough and then driving, right? That's a verb. And so you just change verbs, right? Reading, writing, speaking. Um, if you practice enough, speaking will be, or like speaking English. So like we need, we, we need a, like a, 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 a subject, yeah. So um, driving will be child's play. So yeah, so there has to be like um, meaning, right? So if we say speaking, we need more information, right? So if you practice enough, Speaking English will be child's play. If you practice enough, um, reading could be, you know, like, okay, reading in English will be child's play. So just more information. So that's all. So the, the, the driving, we have the picture. So the picture gives the sentence meaning, right? But if you don't have a, a, if you don't have a picture, then maybe you need more information, right? So if you practice enough, Driving a car will be child's play. If you, if you practice enough, um, speaking English will be child's play. Okay, good. Thank you for that. Okay, here we go. Card number two. Card number two. What is the sentence? Here we go. What is the sentence?
Uh, Brahimo, thank you, Brahimo. <laughs> right, do I like it? <clears throat> okay, this is number two. What is the sentence? Oh, Vilmar has a news flash. Brazilian football. So anybody interested in Brazilian football, check out Vilmar's comment. Okay, Marion's on the board. Assembling the DIY furniture is child's play for me. <coughs> Demeter says, assembly, assembling DIY furniture is child's play for me. Helga, assembling the DIY furniture is child's play for me. Lolly, assembling the DIY furniture is child's play for me. Oh, I'm sorry, outside they are trimming the trees outside. So there's a, um, the, the leaf blower. Leaf blower is happening outside. They're outside my office, they are cutting the trees, trimming the trees, trimming the trees. And um, so they're, they're using the, the um, leaf blower. It's very noisy. Okay, good everyone. No problem, no problem, Devender. Assembling. Yeah, so we need the ing, the, the, the present. Continuous. Okay, good, good, good. Because assembling, you're doing it, right? So you need the ing because it's ha action happening. It's action happening. You know, walking, you're moving, right? You're doing the action is continuing, right? So I'm, I'm drinking coffee. So the action is happening, right? It is continuing. So it's the continuous, it's the um, tense, right? The continuous tense. Okay, good. Assembling the DIY furniture is child's play for me. That's Anna's sentence. Okay, here we go. Card number three. Last card. Here we go. What is the sentence? What is the... Oh, this is a challenge, everybody. Challenging sentence right here. Lolly's sentence. Card number three from Lolly. What is the sentence? Quiz. Sentence number three. What is it? What is it? Oh, Peter's right there on the board. Peter, that is very quick. Peter says, being a nurse is a significant challenge, not to child's play. Alice, assembling the DIY furniture is child's play for me. Radu, being a nurse is a significant challenge, not child's play. Very good. Marion, being a nurse is a significant challenge, not child's play. No, not child's play. Helga, being a nurse is a significant challenge, not child's play. No. Tetsuro, being a nurse is a significant challenge, not child's play. Lolly, being a nurse is a significant challenge, not child's play. Say woo. Being a nurse is a significant challenge, not child's play. Oh, Devender. Lolly being a nurse, it's a big challenge, not child's play. Okay, I like it, Devender. Being a leaf blower is a significant challenge. The, okay, how's this? The leaf blower is a significant challenge for me to do a live stream lesson. The leaf blower is a significant challenge for me doing the live stream class. The leaf blower is a significant challenge for me doing the live stream class. It stopped now, so thank you. 
Thank you, Leaf Blower. Thank you for stopping. I appreciate that. I appreciate you for not, not working. <laughs> Oh, Tomas has his own, oh, Tomas has a new sentence. Tomas says, if you drink enough coffee to stay awake, oh, okay, if you drink enough coffee, staying awake will be child's play. Okay, Tomas, if you drink enough coffee, staying awake, staying awake will be child's play. I always do things by myself. I don't like to depend on others. I hate it. That's right. Self-sufficient. Uh, Vilmar, self-sufficiency. 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 Okay, Hashem. Being a nurse is a significant challenge, not child's play. Rita, being a teacher is a significant challenge, not child's play. Thank you, Rita. Mwah. Yes, it is. That's right, Radu. Leaf blowers disrupt the class. Yeah, staying awake. Good, Tomas. Okay, let's check out the sentence. Being a nurse is a significant challenge, not child's play. Oh, ho, 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 lolly, 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 lolly. Lolly, thank you. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much, lolly. Big heart, big heart, big heart for you. <laughs> thank you so much, Lolly. Yes, yes, thank you so much. Okay, well, ah, Lolly, you make me very happy. Well, today you guys did great. The green team, great sentences. Whoop, we got some, they're mixed up. Okay, let's, okay, 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 there. Well, they're all upside down. What's happening? What's happening? Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Nicely done, green team. Yes, nicely done. Thank you so much, green team. Hey, if you want your cards to be read, if you want to make cards, and you want your sentences to be on the live stream, join the channel. Yeah, become a member. Like Lolly, become a member like Sewu, like Devender, like Rita, like Peter, like Tetsuro. Yeah, so um, like Tomas, like Rita. So um, they're the supporters. They make it happen. So if you want to help me, help the channel, help everyone, right? So help everyone, then um, please, please join the channel. That would be great. Um, also, I want to tell you, I have a new book, 50 Very Short Conversations. This is book number three. Yeah, just this week. I, I finished it and uploaded it this week. And of course, we have our conversations, of course, right? Same, same structure. We have um, quizzes, yeah. We have quizzes. And then you answer, then you, your feeling, how you feel about something, right? Ranking. So um, there are 50 very short conversations, quizzes, expansion practice, scale your response. Yeah, this is book three. So um, just, I'm happy about it. I'm very happy to have book three done and completed. Yeah, so one, two, three. And um, also, I want to remind the members of the upper, the upper members, right? So there's different levels. So the upper, the upper members, we're having a Zoom on Sunday the 28th. You can find the link in the community tab, right? Where you find, um, where I send messages to the members, right? So you go to my homepage 
and then you go to community and then you will see the content for members only and the link to our Zoom meeting on Sunday, the 28th, 9 p.m. Japan time. So um, that's happening Sunday. Um, Lolly, we, we don't have time for Lolly's Revenge. I'm sorry. It, it's really hard because now we do um, the members dictation cards and that takes longer. Oh, we did the quiz, so I need to. So that takes longer. So um, we have to do your Lolly's Revenge on Tuesday. Okay, so we'll do Lolly's Revenge on Tuesday. And um, I'm sorry, I don't read Arabic, so I, I can't see your name, but um, thank you. And please tell your teacher thank you for using my videos in your classroom. I appreciate that a lot. Um, okay, thank you, Lolly, so much. And, and thank you so much, Lolly, today for your extra support. Lolly is a member. She, you can see her name is green. And today she gave extra support. So that, that's a big, a big thank you for you. And um, cheers, everyone. Um, it's Friday. Oh, okay. So, um, Sasan, Sasan. Okay, Sasan. Thank you, Sasan. Welcome, Sasan. All right. I'm going to be back on Tuesday, Sasan. So, I'm here on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, three days a week. So, um, today's Friday. We have the weekend coming up starting tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday, then we have Sunday. So everyone have a great weekend. Thank you, Sewu. Appreciate it. Thank you, Devender. Um, have a great weekend, everyone. Be safe. Smile, right? Smiling is very important. Um, that'll, that'll keep you happy. That'll keep you healthy. And other people will be happy too, right? They see you smile and they have to smile, right? If you smile at someone, they have to smile back, right? So, so by smiling, you are helping um, other people, not yourself. Only, of course, you're helping yourself because when you smile, you are happy, and when you're happy, you're healthy. So you're helping yourself, but you're also helping other people because when you smile, they have to smile back, right? Okay. So um, thanks so much, and. Um, Again, one more time, Lolly, love you. Okay, so um, I will see you on Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Whoa, Tuesday's gonna be March? March, next week is March. Wow, I can't believe it. Yes, so Tuesday will be March 2nd, 2-2. Wow, so our next live stream class together will be March 2nd, March 2nd. Wow, already a new month is around the corner. Yeah, so March is around the corner. So we just go a little bit and we're gonna be in March. Wow, that is crazy, that is crazy. Okay, <laughs> all right everyone, thanks. Um, love you and smile, yes. Okay, bye-bye. See you.